Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. This is Jean of Kaika Gujin's Journey. So in today's vlog, as promised, I am going to share to you how did I um, secured my driving license, my Japanese driving license here in Japan. So you, if you're interested to know about this video, then please keep on watching. Okay, so welcome back again. So I'm so sorry earlier. The struggle is real when you're living like really close to the station. Like literally, I'm, I'm very sure that you can hear different sounds right now. Like you can hear the motorcycle or sometimes you would hear the train um, passing by my area. Yes, I, I do really live like really beside the station. Like it's just a minute walk from my apartment. So yes, please do bear with me. <laughs> the struggle is real in here. Well, anyway, yes. Um, I am going to share to you my experience um, when I was taking um, the drivers, the driving classes and driving exams here in Japan. So actually there are two ways for you to get your driving license. It's either first um, you convert your license, your Philippine license to the Japanese license, which is easier because um, it's just it's kind of like a shortcut but at the same time they're very meticulous or like they they will really like scrutinize all the documents that and screen your capabilities in driving on the other hand um, they we have the like starting from scratch I mean zero you will not consider having your Philippine driver's license but instead you're gonna go to a driving school here in Japan and really start from basic like you will learn everything and undergo written and driving exams which I took yes so I had my driver's license um, almost seven years ago and that was like prior to me going here in Japan because we really need to secure a driving license however I didn't really have the chance to drive here in Japan before for a long time because I felt like I did not I mean I don't want to and I didn't feel really the need to drive here because the transportation is very um, efficient however as time passed by and I realized like oh, I wanted to drive and I've, I've seen many people like um, their lives are more convenient comfortable because they have um, cars here in Japan so that's why I've made my decision to finally um, secure my driving license here in Japan so initially I have planned to convert my license however um, the city where I live in is really um, like they have like it's really it's it's very extra in everything so yes as I was saying um initially I have planned to convert my license my Philippine license to a Japanese license however um, the city where I live I currently live right now it's it's very extra and everything like from what I've heard from other ALTs that who actually tried taking the exam is that they took it for like 10th to 15th time and that they've got like zero chances of passing it they at some point they cannot like really um, get into what is the standard of driving here in Japan so they just give up on it and um, just gave up their cars instead so in my case um, I've actually consulted a Philippine driving academy here in my city it's and then um, I've tried asking for their advice as to what is really um, would what is the best for me to take would be e it would it be easier if I just take the conversion or should I just go instead with um, like starting from zero? Well, I've, I've heard a lot of like advices that um, you should probably just convert your license because it's more affordable compared to taking um, a driving class. However, as I was comparing the, the expenses actually, it would it would turn out to be like you like Say for example, I take the exam for 10 to 15 times, then it would be as expensive as going to zero. 
right? And it would, like, especially right now that since we have COVID, it's not gonna be easy for me to go to Philippines or maybe ask my family members to go out, go to the LTO, and then get some necessary documents that I need to. So, instead of converting my license, I've, I've just resorted to why not I go to a Japanese school and just start from scratch. And that's what I did. So, yes, I have this book. This is called Rules of the Road. So in here, at the back actually of this book, I have wrote all the things I did during um, the steps in taking a driver's license. So the first thing I did is, so I enrolled myself around November of last year. I enrolled in a, um, a driving academy. So in, in that driving academy, they helped us um, review for the items that would go out of the examination. And of course, everything is in English. You can take it in Japanese too and or in other languages, but in my case, of course, I opt to take the, the, English, for, the English version. So the written test fee, if you will enroll yourself in a driving school, would cost you 60,000 yen plus 6,000 of tax. So it would be um, a total of 66,000 yen. And this could be paid in two gifts. Yes, you've heard me right. Two gifts po siya. So yun. Requirement needed. The first thing I did was yes, enrolled myself in a driving school, and then next to that is I prepared all the requirements that are necessary for me to take the written exam, which are the following. First one is the residence certificate or Jamin Show. So this could be um, secured from your city hall, and it cost me 350 yen for each document. Well, you will only need one document, but in my case, I see I. I I asked for two just in case like I would be needing it again for the next time and then second second thing that you need to um, secure is ID picture yes ID picture um, there are lots of like photo booths here in Japan so and it would cost you 900 yen yes very comfy convenient convenient <laughs> Okay, and number three, document from the police office needed for taking the test. So I went to the police office, not the ano, not the branch ha yung police box, but the police office, yung main office talaga nila. And in there, I asked for a document that would um, allow me to take an exam. And in there, they gave me a time period or dates wherein I could take the exam and the days are actually um, it's either Tuesdays any Tuesdays or any Thursdays of the month and it should be 9 8 from 9 a.m. so yun siya yung class schedule so going back yes I've enrolled myself in a driving school so yung class schedule namin is actually from Monday to Sunday then from Monday to uh, 4 p.m. yes that's 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. so since I work from Monday to Friday, Mondays to Fridays, I wasn't really able to like go to go to the driving academy every day. So what I did is I just go there every Saturday and Sunday, and then um, review as much as possible all the items that might come out. It's like you know taking the licensure exam. Yeah, so we do mock um, exams. Then if we like say for example if we got wrong in this item the teacher will just go to you and explain to you everything about um, that item then next so i passed my written exam my first written exam that's the karimen stage and what in one take lang and i've got score of 90 98 over 100 then after passing the exam they gave me a certificate wherein i could bring to my next driving school for me that that would certify that i have actually passed the written exam so upon arriving in there um i paid an amount of 300 no 280,000 yen yes tapos yung 280,000 yen yun na yun siya sa whole course na talaga ng driving school mo now i know it's very expensive but you can actually pay it in six gifts if you're going to use your credit card
So that so yes, I went to my the diving school here in my city. That's a separate school ha from the first school that I've enrolled. So the first school I've enrolled earlier is it's a review center for me to guide for my written test. And then the second school that I've went to is the Japanese school that will help me in passing the driving test. So yun na. Um, the driving test cost, cost me 280,000 yen. I know it's very expensive. Actually, halos maluha-luha ako. <laughs> but yes, um, I did that. I paid that amount in two gives. So you have a lot of options. First is that you can actually loan the money for, for your driving classes. Second is you can use your credit card and you can pay that amount in six in installments. And then um, the third choice is you can pay through or you can pay by cash, which I did. And yes, two gives. Two gives yun. Mm -mm. So 140,000 first. And then during the second stage, I have to pay again another 140,000. Yes, so that's it. So, um, no, and na ako sa school. Um, actually, it was very helpful because there are a lot of rules that is that are really different from what i've learned before and there are some rules that i don't know so good thing so it really made me realize and be convinced that hey i actually did the right thing to enroll myself in the driving school now in the driving academy we were given this one this is our kit so another thing that I enjoyed about this experience is that I felt like I'm I'm a real Japanese student because meron kaming Kocho Sensei, a principal. We do also have a Kyoto Sensei, the vice principal in the school. And then I do have classmates with different age. May mga senior, I mean mga college students, may mga graduating senior high school students, may mga mama na, mga parents na, yung Ibat ibang idad talaga at ibang ibang lahi. So I felt like um, it was really a good experience for me to meet up new people. So, eto. Let me explain what's inside this kit. So, first is etong card namin. Etong nice pass. Amazing because this nice pass actually served as my student card in the driving school. I just need to tap this one when I need to get my record book. Pag tap ko nito dito doon, mababasa yung IC niya, tapos lalabas yung record book ko, which has all my records about my performances in the school. Amazing. Like, ang daming purpose pala talaga ng nice pass na ito. This is originally a bus pass, but see, ang dami niyang gamit. So, we always bring this one. The next is schedule. Yes, we do have our schedule also. Ito. So, nakasunat dito yung schedules namin kung kailan kami papasok. Then, um, what I really love about it is meron kami ang dami naming libro. Although, this is all in Japanese. So see, I am so proud of myself that I graduated from a Japanese driving school because I've had the experience of how the Japanese students um, deal with examinations, lectures in full Japanese. Yes po, you've heard me right. It's full, it's fully in Japanese, walang English doon. Although some of our teachers would try to put a subtitle or a translation on their PowerPoint presentations. However, for most cases, our teachers just plainly speak in Japanese. And I felt like that was really a good experience for me. Hindi lang ako nag-aral ng driving, nag-aral na din ako ng Nihongo. So, yun siya. So, anami! I learned a lot from that. And right now, I feel like I am really a confident driver here in Japan. So, yun. Yun lang. And so, um, there are actually two um, driving exams. The first one is the Karaman. Karaman stage is you have to just practice driving inside the school vicinity. Oo, meron silang course doon. Tapos, ano, magmamaneho ka lang doon. And I've learned a lot from that experience. And the second one, then, ah, if you pass 
the first stage, the carrymen, yung driving inside the school vicinity, you will then go outside. Dun ka na magda-drive sa labas. Which is really thrilling. Uh -oh. In my case, like, I was so excited and nervous at the same time to drive outside. Because during the difference is that when we're driving inside the school vicinity, you just need to be mindful of the your co- um, your classmates that are also driving on the course and then be mindful also of the surroundings and the rules but um, the difference is that when we went outside that's the Hanmen Hanmen stage second stage it's more challenging because there will be a lot of um, vehicles and so as ambulance then meron pang um, mga civilians, de ba? So naging naging ano siya, very much challenging for me. However, I am so thankful because I was guided by my teachers, and they always make sure that to make us feel that we are safe in the entire class. So yes, I passed all my exams in one take. One take for the written test one, then one take for the driving test 1, then one take for the driving test 2, and then one take din ako sa last written exam. Yung last written exam ko is called Hanmen Stage 2. Yung pinakalas na po talaga. And then in there, um, there's 100 items that I need to answer for an hour. I think an hour, yes. An hour. And then I've got 98. Hindi, hindi ko talaga siya ma-perfect because um... I, I'm sorry, but I would say some of the English words are just weird. Yes, yes. But I, I'm still thankful to get the 98 because the passing is 90, diba? 90 yung passing, so 90 above, you'll get a license. Mo. So I'm, I'm very thankful because I've, I've passed it in one take. One take lang po talaga. So, mm, yes. So here na. I am so happy even though I spent a lot of money I I I devoted my time in there the, I could say and then that was also the reason why I couldn't hang out with my friends even though I really want to but mm, it's all worth it yes yes and now I have my Japanese license here you go yan na siya. and I am now a confident driver here in Japan so if you are also planning to go here in Japan and you have your international license what I just advise what I'm advising you is that please do your best to keep that license or to convert the license because I don't want you to be to like be paying a lot of money just for you to enjoy driving here in Japan and I do tell you it's really safe to drive in here for and it would be very convenient for you to go anywhere you want to so that's all for today i hope you have learned something from this video and hope to see you on my next vlog bye everyone